What's up, Herbalife 24? My name is AJ Perez. We're going to go through a full body strength workout today. First thing we're going to start off with, you're going to be on all fours, but your torso is going to be up to the ceiling. It's called a crab toe touch. The focus is the hamstrings. We got three sets of 10. Drop down, hands are on the floor, knees are up, heels are on the ground. You're going to dip from your triceps and on your way back up, opposite hand, opposite foot. We go in three, two, one. Dip, touch, one, two, three, four, five. I want you to squeeze your abs, six, every single time, seven, you come up, nine, ten, Woo. shake it off. Now, modified version for this, okay? You can skip the dip and just reach for your toe and try to stay in that position without going up and down so much. Two more to go, three, two, one, second set, one, dip, two, three, Four, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, here's another trick. You can bring your knees closer to you, and that will help ease tension within this exercise if you need more of a modification. The more your knees are further out from your body, the more tension you build into your triceps, okay? We go for our final set in three, two, one, dip, touch, one. Two, three, four, five more. This is it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Bring it up. All right. Now we got the body warmed up just a little bit. We're going to go into focusing on the hamstrings. This one is called a good morning. Or in Spanish, buenos dias. Bring the hands behind your back. You're going to hinge from your hips, okay? Hips are going to go straight back, glute straight back. And I want you to take your time. We're only going through 10 of these. Now the key thing for this, as you go through all 10 reps, is you wanna feel your hamstrings with most of the tension throughout this movement. Three. Now your posterior chain, it's important. You wanna strengthen your lower back. It's a part of your core. So if you wanna have stronger abs, well, you're gonna to wanna to get good at this move right here. We got four more. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, shake it off. Now, we're gonna be going through a little bit of hamstring mobility for the next 90 seconds. I want you to start off with one knee bent, one leg straight. We call this one a scoop. All right, so as you scoop, I want you to feel that stretch from your hamstrings down to your calf muscle. Now, what we're gonna be doing before we move into the rest of the strength workout for the next 90 seconds or so, it's going through a different little bit of variations of hamstring stretches, but dynamic stretches. So what that means, you won't be static through any of these movements because, hey, we'll start warming up. I want you to move your body the whole time. Now we're gonna drop down to all fours into a plank in three, two, one more of these. Now, walk it out to the plank. From the plank position, uh, we're gonna take you to a familiar yoga pose. Hips go up to the ceiling, and now we're gonna alternate one knee bending from a downward dog position. Now I want you to marinate into the leg that is straight, deep into the hamstrings. We're gonna be here for about the next 20 seconds. Now if one knee, or sorry, one hamstring is a little bit tighter than the other, that's okay. I just want you to marinate in that one for a little bit longer. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Walk your feet up, but I want you to take your time and I want you to hang low. Grab your elbows and I want you to swing side to side. So we're gonna let gravity do its natural job and applying pressure in the downward motion deep behind our legs. If you need to release tension, we can always bend the knees and straighten them back out and keep rocking side to side. Final stretch here before we move into our set of deadlifts. We go in three, two, one. <sighs> Shake it off. Chest tall. All right. Hamstrings are loosened up. They're warmed up. Now we're going to take this into a deadlift. Now it's going to be a super set for the next two exercises. One with the dumbbells, one without. Deadlift focusing on the hamstrings just like we did for the good morning. Only this time, your weights are right here in front of you, okay? We're gonna drop down for the deadlift in three, two, one. Hinge back, 
just like we did for the good morning. Hips drive up at the top of this rep. That was one, two. We got eight more to go. Three, four, five. Now make sure your chin is staying level with your eyes, focusing on something in front of you. Five more to go. You don't want to round your back, round your neck. It's gonna be bad for your posture, okay? Two more. Nine. Ten. All right, ditch the weights. Now we got a set of squat jumps. You're going up to the ceiling, back down. Three, two, one, jump. One, two. We got ten of these. Three. Now, if you need to, four, five. You can squat explosive without the jump as a modification. Last two. One more. Whew. Shake it off. Superset means that we have to do that. Two different exercises within the same movement, okay? So that was one set. One set, two different exercises. We got two more of these. Starting off with the deadlifts. Three, two, one, hinge, squeeze at the top, one. Now at any point, let's say you got dumbbells at home, okay? And it's starting to get really taxing on your hamstrings. You can drop one weight or you can go no weights. And you can focus on just getting gravity to force your body to strengthen itself. Seven, eight, last two. One more, squeeze the glute to the top. Woo. Move these weights, ditch them, 10 squat jumps. Drop down, let's go. One, two, three, four, five more. Six, seven. One more set, one more set. Now for this super set, focus is hamstrings, deadlifts, quadriceps for the squat jump. So it's a full body movement when it comes to both sides of your legs. Working the back and the front. We go in three, two, one, last set. One, two, three. Now the toughest part, four, for the last set of all these exercises. Six is maintaining form all the way to the final rep. Do not compromise your form for speed just to finish. One more. Dish the weights. Last set of squat jumps. Three, two, one. Jump. One, two, three, four, five, more. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Land soft. Shake it off. All right. Next move is called the Cossack Lunge. We got three sets of 10. All you're gonna do is go deep in the lateral lunge. Weights are optional. I'm gonna show you the first set, no weights. Chest tall. Feet a little bit more than shoulder width, or a lot more than shoulder width apart. Lateral lunge in three, two, one. Now you're just gonna move through all 10 of these. Going deep into a lateral lunge. So you're gonna feel the burn right on the inside of your legs. It's called your abductors. Now this helps maintain a lot of stability for all the other exercises that you do with your lower body. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we got two more sets. This time I'm gonna grab my weights. Here's the option, you can grab one dumbbell flip it underneath, or you can have two and rack them up to your shoulders, okay? Second set, we go to 10, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five more to go. I know it burns right here. Only five left, six, and you get a break. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Take the next 10, 15, 20 seconds to shake it off. Moving forward. If you need to drop the weight to any point to modify, that's always a healthy option. I would rather see you progress with a modified version than to completely stop. We got one more set. We go in three, two, one, last one. There's one, two, three, four, 
five, six. So when I'm racking these weights up, seven. They're resting on my shoulders, so my arms don't have to do anything. Ten. Drop the weights. Okay. Take some deep breaths in. Next move is gonna be a lunge to a knee drive. I'm gonna demonstrate again the first set without the weights. It's gonna be another super set. It's a lunge to knee drive. Then we go plyometric, alternating a lunge jump. First move, reverse lunge, chest tall in three, two, one. Lunge back, knee drive up, alternate. Two, three, four. Now try to stabilize. Five, every time that knee drives up, squeeze those abs. Six, hold for a second, seven. Eight, nine, here's where it gets tricky. Ten, lunge jump, now we jump in. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, break. Now, two more sets. If that option was already difficult enough without any weights, stick with it. Challenge yourself. For me, well, I'm gonna take a little bit more of a challenge. I'm gonna hold on to these weights. Second set, lunge with the knee drive. We go in three, two, one. Lunge back, drive up, one. Now it's a lot harder to stabilize with an extra load from the weights. But we'll take on that challenge. We'll face it head on. And I'm right here with you. Come on, five. Six, four more to go before we got those jumps. Seven, come on Herbalife, 24, eight, nine, 10. Woo. Lunge jumps in three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we got one more set. And now, if you need to modify the last set because you're tired for the, for the plyometric version, you can do this low and not jump at all. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna burn just a little bit more by staying low. So I'll we'll use that if we cannot jump. One final set. I'm gonna grab my weights. We go in three, two, one. Lunge, knee drive, one, two. Now, if I didn't have my shirt on, three. You'd be seeing my abs. Four, contract to remain stabilized as one leg stays down and one comes up. Six, seven, eight, two more. This is the last one. One more time with the lunges. I know it's hard. Modify if you need to. Three, two, one, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm glad those are over. Now, if you think we're done jumping, I'm sorry to tell you, we're not. We got three sets of ten burpee jumps. Now, this time when we do the burpee and you reach up at the top of your burpee, I want you to reach for something that matters to you, that's important to you, that you want, a goal, something that you need to work for. You jump up, you go get it. Nobody's gonna give it to you. You gotta take it. Drop down in three, two, one. Chest down, feet up, reach, jump. That's one. Now I know burpees are intense too. But once they're done, three. There's no better feeling in the world. Four, now when I said this is full body, this is one of those exercises that really is full body. Arms for the push up, abs for the knees in, legs for the jump. Last two. One more. Ha, ha. Take a break. 15 second recovery. Now during the recovery, if you need water, grab it. If you need your favorite Herbalife product, take a little sip. From here, two more sets of ten. Now if you need to skip the jump, that's okay. I still want you to explode, even if your feet do not leave the ground. Three, two, one. First two for me, modify. You can even skip the push-up and still move through this at a modified pace. Huh, huh. Let's go back to it. Four, huh, huh. 
Five. Now it's getting a little harder, but I got goals. I'm not gonna stop reaching for them. Jump up, reach for that goal. Nobody's gonna give it to you. You go get it, you go take it. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Now, remember, throughout these little breaks, these little recoveries, you don't want to stand still like a robot. Lactic acid is building. Don't let it be stagnant. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. You'll recover just a little bit faster. You're welcome. Don't say AJ never taught you nothing, okay? We're going three, two, one, last set. Let's make it count. One, two. Now I had a coach back in the day when I first started getting into fitness. He would always tell me when I'm tired, I got one more set to go. He would tell me last set, best set. And we're gonna live by that model. This is your last set. Make it your best one. Three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Now, good news. We're not gonna jump anymore. We're gonna stay on the ground. Legs, they get a big recovery. Drop down onto your mat. Bring it into a high plank when you're ready. We got a crossover push-up, but what we're gonna do, if you can handle this, I want you to cross one leg over the other. Doesn't matter which one, we got three sets. You can play with it and alternate if you need to. You can always go wide, or you can drop to your knees. We're gonna walk one hand over and push shut, okay? Here's the advanced version. All right, we got three sets of 10. Advanced version, leg crosses over in three, two, one, cross over, push up, one. Cross over, push up, two. Three, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a break. Now, like we said before, lactic acid does build up from doing strength training. When that does happen, in between your sets, so you have energy for the next one, keep moving your body a little bit, shake out the arms. Now, for the last two sets, remember, modified versions. You can go parallel and wide, or you can drop to your knees. That option is always available, okay? We go in three, two, one, second set, cross over, Push up, two, eight more to go, three, four, five, six, four more, seven, arms are burning now, eight, I know, it's all right, nine, last one, Ooh, ten, hey, listen, I don't know if you knew this, but trainers get tired too, I've been in your shoes before. I'm in this position with you right now. Easiest thing that we could do for our final exercises and our final reps is to fold up and quit. But sometimes the easy option in life ain't the best one. So let's take that hard option and let's progress. Three, two, one, last set. One, two, three. Would be easy to quit right now. Four, not gonna let it happen. Five. Progress for me is more important than stagnation. I don't want to stay the same. I want to get better. Last three. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Take a little break. We got one more move. This move is gonna require shoulder stability. But more importantly, gonna require core stability. It's gonna be a high plank. You're gonna bring your knee in and we alternate a heel lift for a set of three sets of 10. Last one, finalizing this move, today's workout with the core. High plank, knee in, alternate the heel drive in three, two, one, lift up, back in, down, switch. 
two. Start with the knee in, heel out, back in to the floor, switch. Four, five, six. I don't know if you can see this right now. I think we got a pretty high definition camera on set today. Sweating bullets over here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So, we got two more sets like that. If you need to, you can skip the knee drive and go straight from the plank to lifting your heel up. It's still gonna work your core stability as well as your shoulder stability. Final two rep, two sets. We go in three, two, one. Heel, drive, back, in. One, two. Now notice this. Really easy to lift your hips up with the heel. No, no, no. You wanna stabilize the core right where it is and test that mobility from your legs, but test the stability from your core to stay still every single rep. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. And break. Now, good news. We only got one more to go. So take this break. Use it as a moment to encourage yourself that it does end. The pain that you're going through, that's progress. That's your body getting strong. That's never an easy task to go through. But I want you to handle this like a fighter. And I want you to bite down on your mouthpiece. Final set, final round. Let's go to work. Let's fight through it in three, two, one. Knee in, heel up, back, one. Two, shoulders are hurting. Abs are burning. Three, four, in, out, up, back, in, down. Five more. Six, seven. Come on, Herbalife. Eight, you got this. Nine, last one, make it count. Ten, back, in, down. And you're done. Herbalife 24, my name is AJ. Today you got stronger. And as your trainer for this workout, I'm proud of you. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Herbalife 24, big salute. I love y'all.